Hello, this one's going to be interesting, mainly because I have no idea what I'm doing and the uh, or the correct way to open up an SFP. So this is a fiber optic SFP. It's a module which goes into the side of a router or a media converter or a network switch. Plugs in at that end using a connector and at the other end it has an optic port which you can then plug in. In this instance, an SC connector which is subscriber connector and a lot of them instead you plug in a LC connector, low cost connector. Sorry about the cat in the background. So here is an example of an LC connector, low cost connector, and I don't have an SC connector to hand, I can't show you that I'm afraid, but it's much bigger, probably double the size in all dimensions. This optic here has been blown up by lightning, so it's useless to me. I thought I'd see what's in it. Before we take it to bits, the way it holds itself into the uh, switch or the port is this moving thing here. So uh, you could probably pull it out. Some of them have a little clip which uh, comes downwards, uh, or maybe this bit here and stops you ejecting the optic if it hits against this. Uh, this um, lever here is used to eject the optic. This one is a gigabit optic transmitting and receiving on 1310 nanometers and 1550 nanometers at a maximum 20 kilometer range. This costs probably eight or seven pounds from fs.com. Amazingly cheap, really, for, for the technology. Right, let's see whether I can take this thing to bits and uh, how much I will mess it up in trying to do so as well. I do apologize if anyone does know the correct way to open these up. I do not. So yeah, this got uh, destroyed by lightning and it sends light, so if you uh, do an OTDR uh, light level or signal level uh, check on it, it sends light down the line, but the router never uh, gets a link, an active link going. Okay, so I see it's been uh, crimped in, so there's a lip here that the metal's been put into or slid on and then crimped there. So to remove this, um, I probably need to undo that crimp or um, hook it out somehow. I don't think that's going to happen, so I think I'm just going to have to deform this entire metal body of the optic. So here goes. Oh. Whoops. Oof, dear. Fling the camera at my face. Ideally, I'd like to be able to ping out this bit of metal um, from the lip that it runs along, which is... Uh, Easier said than done by a very long way, it looks like. Ah, managed to cut myself. Brilliant. I'd say uh, that's probably pretty predictable given uh, the method that I'm extracting this with. Okay, I might have more of a chance now I've got a lot of that done to now just flip this over the edge here. Yes, there we go. That's one side of that done. Hopefully I can 
hang that off. Ha ha! Success with only a minor injury. All uh, right, so we've got the eject mechanism here. The way that's pinged out, I feel like I should have been able to do this a whole lot easier. But um, that goes in that way. Yeah, so that, that's the bit that you see on the underside of the optic. And that pushes the optic out of the switch or the, the thing you've got it plugged into. Okay. Let's focus on, if I can. Nope, doesn't want to. So, here is the optic. Let's see if I can brighten this up a bit as well. That's probably slightly better. Um, you've got the contacts. Are they double-sided? Can't quite see down there. We'll find out in a minute whether they are double-sided. You have the... Uh, what looks like a guide or a clamp for the SC connector here, this black plastic bit, and the receiver and transmitter, I'm going to assume the one with the bigger wires will be the transmitter, because that probably uses more power than the thing that receives the signal, which I expect is this little ribbon cable there. Right, let's see if we can unscrew this. So that's the circuit board unscrewed, and let's lift up the optic if I can. And the circuit board out of the module. Oh, aha, uh -huh, there we go. Right, so that is just an entirely metal case. Very sturdy, incredibly well built, or I feel like it is. Um, got some cutouts there, there, and there. That cutout is for the this optical bit. There's a cutout there which will be for a chip and another cat cutout which is probably for a chip. Yeah, so the big cutout there is for this chip here. And I'm not sure what the other cutout is. It doesn't match anything there, so maybe they use the same um, box for other uh, optics. And then, yeah, we've got the clamp for the SC connector there, which we can take off. And it is double-sided, so these... Uh, connectors here are on both sides of this circuit board. There's not really a lot to it. Two chips, so one chip here and another chip there. And I guess an optical transceiver, transmitter and receiver here. And that is really it. Yeah, see down the end of that, you can see the shiny optical interface. So, there you go, that is what's inside. A fiber optic SFP module, a casing on top of it, or at least in the uh, instance of these fs.com modules. Casing. The thing which guides the SC connector in. And then the eject mechanism, eject or locking mechanism, to hold the optic in place, or to eject it when you want to pull it out. And then the actual circuit board and optical transceiver itself. Incredible what you can get for really less than a ten pounds per module. And sad that this one's been blown up by lightning.
and can't be used. Hopefully this video has been interesting to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you. Just a quick addition, using inappropriate tools and brute force, I have managed to extract this bit from this bit. It's not particularly clear from what you can see there, but that is what well, looks almost like a camera shutter. Uh, yeah, it must be. It's probably a mirror which splits the incoming light off to the sensor and also the transmitter. I guess where it exits it to Uh, to the optic. This part which has down it the ceramic ferrule which holds the SC connector in place There we go, this item here was welded on, uh, probably can't get a particularly good shot of it, but there's multiple, what looks like spot weld type points around the edge that held it onto those little spots you can see around the edge on that.